damn it. Just crash the car. No, wait. Okay. Broke this little seal thing. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, it's the cost of doing business. <laughs> Just finished an open house this weekend, picking up the signs, because uh, it's right near me, and Potter did it, so. Um, yeah, I don't know why I pick such heavy signs. Like, it's good to pick the big ones, because, you know, visible and stuff, right? But they're so freaking huge and heavy. down the stairs is a struggle actually because then okay, I shouldn't do that like that yeah you gotta go like this ah. that's the thing I think I think most agents hate doing open houses because of the signs So I used to have a sign company that used to uh, open house delivery. So we used to actually help people put up the, the notices, drop them off and pick them up. Problem is we stopped doing it because um, people had to wait for before the open house and pick it up after the open house. We wouldn't, you're not allowed to, in Toronto, you're not allowed to leave it on the street because then they'll collect it. Like um, the public gets upset when there's all these side, side, uh, signs blocking sidewalks and stuff. Really? Well, you know what? I got a better idea. If anybody's watching this and they want a job, I'll even provide the truck. Well, then the day's work. Yeah, I'll even provide the truck. You just gotta, all you have to do is just um, have some muscle and uh, some patience. Yep. And Saturday and Sunday is free. All right, let's get to work. Huh? Yeah, no, sorry. I just wanted to show you the, um, our podcast little sticker over here. It's sick. It's it's like flipped on our side, but like when people are passing by, once we air out these air bubbles a little bit, I mean, it's easy. They can just scan the pod, whatever device they're listening on or they, they prefer to listen on. And uh, there it goes. All right, I should try it out right now, right? This thing down here for, uh, from Selwyn. What is, is that? His, his buddy made it. I don't know, I think it's a crane. So a lot of people always pass by and I'm like, we should have this. Or Ken said that at least. So I listen, I listen on Spotify. Look at that. Perfect nice. Today. Nice. And we already have a new episode that came out today. About the rental market. Right? How good is that? Stuff on the SD you could probably use. Sorry, we gotta like clean up this place. Our business gets so busy that it just you never get a chance to stop. Right? Well, where's gonna go? Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. No, but it's good to like, you know, stay organized and clean. Cause I don't know if you're like me or all, but uh, when, you, when you don't have a clear desk, it's hard to like think, right? Yep. All right, what I gotta do today? Um, let's check this. Okay, let's hope this offer gets returned with acceptance. To help our clients. Close this. Close this. Finally, man. That place. I can't believe out of nowhere, two offers, right? They waited. What? You got one offer. And it was pretty low. Had everything. He stalled it and used he it against it. the other. He called everybody that was going to do it. Yeah, of course. That's the point, right? And then after one more guy, he's like, okay, okay, okay. okay. And that guy came in firm, so. You know what it is? It's about creating urgency. Because mm -hmm. you only get one shot at getting it, right? So. It's awesome. That was just kind of like waited out a little bit and just make it. Sweet, smart move. Well, it's a sign of a good agent. Yeah, the one that had like everything. All the conditions, financing, home inspection. Hey. Yeah, just like sneak up. So it's your problem with It's for ease. Then, maybe harder. It's just harder. So annoying, right? 
He's actually a really good man. It's just, I hate landlords that do this. I hate it. I know, they're just like being petty. Just yeah, like, they, wanna, they wanna jack the rents for tenants. It's people's homes after the, at the end of the day, right? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If you're a tenant, you have the right to stay there. So it's, I don't know how to say it, but it's almost better to, as you're interviewing tenants, the tenants should be interviewing the landlords. But the problem is, the tenants don't have the ability to interview landlords because they're not the ones in power. The vacancy rate's so low and you're multiple, in today's market, you're bidding against other tenants, like 10 other tenants, to get the one place, secure a place in Toronto. Right. It's like they don't have the power. And that's why I'm okay with the landlord-tenant boards that are stacked towards the tenant's favor because like a landlord's like this, right? Even though he's a good client of ours, and I don't want to talk bad about our clients, mm -hmm. I just, I think he needs to think a little bit differently. Yeah. Well, I think you did change his mind at the end. I hope so. so. I hope so. We'll see. You know, so I, I understand his circumstance and, and why he doesn't, he can't have it anymore. Anyway, that's what I've been dealing with, hope you know, over the years, and uh, hopefully you get a taste of that. If you're a landlord, keep your tenants happy. It's the best thing to do. And if the tenants aren't happy, I mean, if you're not happy with having a tenant paying low rent there, just go buy another property. Can you help me with something today? Sure. I need, so we took photos of one of these, one of Kayvon's um, client's place. We're going to put it, um, on the MLS for sale. So you can see the pictures here. Um, I just need you to go in there and take some video. Cool. Just like, I don't know, show, show the place off a little bit. I know it's empty, it doesn't really have anything, but you know, if you can quickly go around there and because it's empty, you might wanna show the beauty of the building itself by mm -hmm. like pan through the building, pan through the amenities, and then come back here, cook it up. <laughs> have it ready for Monday, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the plan today. Yeah, that's the whole plan. Okay, thanks, man. Two hours later. Wrapping up for the day, Ken? Um, you know what these are? These are these are Velcro straps, and it's nice to get color coordinated so that it's easy to grab this magical box of cables and figure out what's what. So say you need a video cable. Here we go. Purple. What is this blue cable? What is this? You're like, oh yeah. According to this, it's audio, because otherwise it's just cable spaghetti everywhere. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that digging through a box of cables and the worst part is having to actually uh, buy new cables anytime you know it's so easy just to like say oh let's go buy a new cable right on Amazon because uh, instead of looking for it right <laughs> but anyway that's how I want to stay organized <laughs>